What up, Heart Squad? Today, I will be showcasing what is the absolute rarest Pokemon cards box in the entire world. I'm talking about something that even beats out my $55,000 Charizard card. That is a first edition base set sealed booster box. But before we get into that, into some openings, if you can, Heart Squad, hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 8,000 likes. I appreciate the support, everybody, because this is single-handedly the absolute biggest purchase in the history of my collecting Pokemon cards, and I can't wait to show y'all it. So, I'm gonna show you the box. I'm gonna show you another purchase I just made this very same week. And then, I got a special opening for y'all, so you're gonna wanna stick around for all of it. But let's get started with what I, like, what more can I say with what I'm about to show y'all right now? This, ladies and gentlemen, is the coup de grace of Pokemon cards. The holy grail of the English Pokemon TCG. A sealed first edition limited printing booster box. This, my friends, is worth approximately $80,000 and it is now part of the Heart Squad community's collection. I, um, I really, I really don't know what to say. Uh, well, first off, this, uh, compared to my first edition PSA Charizard card, which is worth 55,000, uh, this beats that for the time being because there just aren't too many boxes, uh, especially in the condition that this one is in, uh, just laying around. And what's cool about this is you see the big old first edition stamp on the bottom right. The box and the seal are actually in very, very good condition as well. I love the side of the box with the Dark Green Wings Charizard. It's different from a usual base set booster box. But on the inside of this are 36 first edition booster packs. And I am beyond excited to add, to, to add this to the collection. Now, I will not be keeping this box, unfortunately, in my studio. It will be going into a vault. Um, but for the time being, just myself recording this video, I just, you know, I had, I just got this box today and we, I just have to marvel at something that is just so rare. This is the absolute rarest box of Pokemon cards in the entire world. And I am so happy to share this with y'all today. The unboxing of it and just frankly how rare I, I seriously i never thought in my entire uh life that i'd be able to own a box of this caliber and i am so grateful that i have this opportunity and um so there we go so there's the first edition base set booster box so i'm like you know this is a it's a special opportunity you know we're getting we're like already almost past 825,000 subscribers, probably already past it. You know when I hit 1 million subs? We're opening first edition base set booster packs on this channel. So you're gonna wanna subscribe and hit that notification bell, everybody. But it's time for the second big thing. So this is my original first edition base set booster pack. This was the only one I had up until uh, yesterday and today. Originally, it was purchased from an uh, unboxed Pokemon cards, first edition box that you saw me just show you. This, what's special about this pack, it was weighed and it is one of the heaviest packs from an already opened box where all the other packs were opened and no one pulled the first edition base set Charizard card. And the weight aligns for what is one, the first edition base set Charizard, two, as I have something in my eye, two, the uh, first edition Chansey or a Ninetales, obviously first edition as well. 
I'm hoping and I'm thinking it's going to be the Charizard. But when I hit a million subs, this will be opened. But I'm like, this is a million subs. And this is, this is one of the best Pokemon card opening channels, if not the best in the entire world. We got to go big like we did last weekend, but blow it out of the water when we open up Sky Ridge packs. So I'm going to put this over here gently. So I wanted to get three more first edition base set booster packs. And you know what, Heart Squad? They are going to be opened up as well. These are all the arts now that you're getting to see. Each of these are also heavy base set booster packs, meaning there is a almost extreme likelihood that there are holographics in each of these packs. And these are the second heaviest ones. But I'm like, this is a million subs. If we're gonna, you know, be at the top of the game, we gotta open more. So I got three more! First edition heavy base set booster packs in each of these, say it with me, will be opened when we hit 1 million subscribers. Just so y'all know, Unweighed first edition packs go between $2,500 to $3,000 each. Heavies, several thousand dollars more, but these are all three heavy as well. But then I'm like, just in case, you never know, we can't stop there. So I just bought an entire half booster box of first edition packs. <laughs> Guys, hit that thumbs up button. So we have one. Two, ah, ah, three, four, five, six. And mind you, they have the first edition stamp, and I'll tell you shortly the difference, just in case y'all are kind of confused at the moment. You're seeing, so all of these, plus the ones you just saw, is actually 19 first edition base set booster packs. They will, all the heavy ones are gonna be opened up. Those over there, probably get into those too. Maybe y'all will have a chance, guys. It's going to be fun. But for those wanting to know the difference, so you are seeing on screen right now three different base set booster packs. So you obviously saw, these are basically all the types. Here's the main one, first edition, it has the first edition stamp. You'll notice as we get into this one, it does not have the first edition stamp, but it does say, 11 tradable game cards and it has the silver crimp at top is different than this one right here this one right here is an unlimited version the one that you know we may most likely it's the most common out of all the base set packs this is the most common one you'll also notice several different things not only is the actual coloring scheme different compared to the two packs because this right here is a shadowless one I know a lot of people say first edition Shadowless. It's basically the first edition packs that you saw. These are what are officially called Shadowless packs because they don't have a shadow on the side of the actual picture of the Pokemon. The HP font is different compared to the Unlimited version and the pack art like you are seeing here is different. Trading card game is not at the bottom, it's at the top over there. It says 11 additional game cards as opposed to 11 tradable game cards compared to Unlimited to Shadowless. And like I said, the tops of the silver, they're different. This is a little bit longer and the lines between are more thin. So Shadowless, Unlimited, and just for you know showing all packs purposes, here's a long stem um, blister booster pack whatever you want to call it it's just an unlimited but these are the ones where you would poke this little hole out right there and it would go on the shelf and just hang that way imagine if we can go back to the times where target and walmart sold these where they were just hanging like that i would go buy them all right right now i'm sure all of us would but there's the back of the pack just so y'all can take a look i just i just think these are absolutely they're just so incredible so those are the different types of base set packs and those were all some more of the, you know, first edition packs, but don't go nowhere. I am now going to be opening some base set booster packs. First edition Wizards of the Coast packs. Let me actually get these over here. 
I'm thinking I may open this one or this one, but put those to the side. These are what I'll be opening up today. A first edition jungle pack, first edition fossil pack, two unlimited team rocket packs, and this is a different one. See, the hole's already posted uh, out there. Long stem base set pack, but I'll probably end up opening these two as well. So, before we get into those, just a simple reminder, guys, please consider joining the Heart Squad. Join the community, hit that subscribe button. I post new videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, and Sundays, guaranteed for the most part, 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Eastern, and 11 a.m. Pacific. So, let's go big with the very, very first pack. Uh, once again, I'm just, I know this video went by really, really fast, and we're now getting into the openings, but it's just one more time, it's just incredible to have gotten something like this. It's just absolutely incredible. Um, I purchased it from a person called Norma Pokey on Insta. If you want to go check out their Insta, it's Norma Pokey. They actually have a lot of other high-end sealed stuff that if you want to go check them out, please go check out Norma, N-O-R-M-A Pokey. Uh, I believe that's it. Uh, go check them out. And thanks again. This was quite, quite a, just, just quite a process, but it was worth it. And speaking of process, we got a base set boost pack. Let's see if we can pull the Charizard. So, just as what I was talking about before, you see the HP, you see the little shadow on the side. For Shadowless, that shadow would not be there. And the HP is, I believe, more thin on the Shadowless ones. All right, and then there's stuff with the dates and the copyright at the bottom, but I'm not gonna get into that today because we got some cards to open up. Let's hope we do not pull a trainer. <laughs> and if you want some more vintage openings, guys, like last weekend when we opened up Skyridge packs and more, it'll be in the eye right over here. Or just go to the front page of my channel. You'll see a big old vintage Pokemon play, uh, booster pack opening and box opening playlist. Poliwag. Energy, ener oh, I forgot to do the guessy energy, oh well. And a B drill. Of course it would be the one that Evolutions TCG in 2016 did a reprint on, but it's still very cool to pull a rare actual base set B drill. Alrighty then, let's get into Team Rocket. It has my favorite, oh, I just want y'all to know, the Wizards logo is different compared to how it is even on this one. It's square there, it's different there. Just like when they were doing it for the different editions. Uh, like I'm not even, this is totally a more high level overview of the difference between editions, cause base set even had a different edition that came out for different countries. It's uh, it's pretty, yeah, this is Team Rocket. It's, it's not too difficult, but I'll save that for another time. And I've explained it in the past before, but I won't go into it this time. So we got a very nice dose of nostalgia for this pack, Team Rocket. Main thing is the Dark Charizard, Dark Dragonite, Dark Blastoise Hollow, or pulling a common Squirtle. Cause that's my favorite Squirtle card of all time. Machop, Mankey, Sleep, very nice, appropriate for right now. Magnemite, and is this the rare? It is. A holographic Dark Weezing. You can barely, barely tell. There's the hollow foil on the sides that will sparkle in the light. Alrighty then. So a very, very nice. Check out the centering. Looks perfect on the front. And it's actually a perfect card, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very nice. No whitening, no scratches. It's not the most valuable card per se, uh, but I'll take it. But we got to step up the game a little bit. And uh, obviously I'm not opening up the first edition packs. <laughs> today in this video but i promise you they were they're gonna be opened and like when we hit a million guys so definitely share this video share the channel let's get to a million as soon as possible uh this was first edition so fossil right yeah all right so dark dragonite is the best card to pull unless we can pull a first edition lapras that is in absolute perfect condition because those are very very difficult to get psa 10s or if you want to go beckett's route beckett why is this not in focus all right cloister just playing with my heart here slowpoke mysterious fossil ammonite grimer there's also a very nice gengar and articuno that are top of the game too Horsey, 
And is this the rare? It is a non-holographic Hitmon Bruce Lee. Well, that's okay. It's still a really cool looking card. Centering isn't the best, uh, but there we go. Even a first edition non-holo is worth something. All right, we got it. We got a, We got a few more packs. I think I'll open up some more base set packs soon enough. But we got another Team Rocket. Getting a Dark Charizard would be absolutely incredible, especially for a video of the caliber of like. I have some sealed Skyridge boxes that I showed y'all in a video about maybe two weeks or so ago. Just go to the front page of my channel, guys. There's so many incredible videos from the past six months of opening up the rarest stuff in the world. Seriously, we even opened up a first edition base set German box. Probably one of the most fun videos ever. Eevee. Where's the Squirtle? Did we not pull a Squirtle? No, we got a Dark War Turtle. Goop. And, oh, there we go. So a holographic rainbow energy. Centering is definitely off from left to right. So that's unfortunate, but the back is also basically the same thing now from right to left. That's unfortunate, but it's it's just a gorgeous hollow. And I'm opening these because they bring such incredible nostalgia, everybody. Look at that beautiful glow, the hollow foil pattern on that. So great way. I wasn't thinking we were gonna pull anything today, guys. I don't have any sleeves with me. They're over there. All right. I got a first edition jungle booster pack. The card you wanna pull is basically first edition Jolteon or any of the Eevee Lucians. But the Jolteon, by far the best one. If you've been around on this channel for the past year, we've actually pulled two of them and it was very exciting, and they were incredible looking cards. It's Jolteon's one of my favorite evolutions. Get in focus for us, Doldrio. There's Windows 95 graphics, Gloom, Primate, Goldeen, Venonat, Nidoran female, Do the Manky Lake, <laughs> Egg Scrambled, there's a Jiggly, Cubone, is this, this the rare Vaporeon? Oh, it is, but it's a non-holographic Vaporeon. Still a very, very nice pull. Centering is just a tad bit off from right to left, but otherwise, it's a very, very nice non-holographic to pull. So we're not done. I think I think I want to get into both of these just because they were for showcase purposes. But now I'm like, nah, let's get into them. There are the two hollow foils from Team Rocket we pulled. So we didn't go too much empty handed, but here we go. An unlimited base set booster pack. Each of these goes for around $125 each. The jungle and fossil packs go for around, what is it like? A hundred ish dollars each, maybe more. Uh, three cards. All right, so I am gonna do the guess the energy for this. Basically that means you get two chances in the same order you think we're gonna show them on video. What energies do you think we're gonna get? I'm gonna say Lightning and Psychic in that respective order. So here we go. Dugong, which turned into a rare card in Evolutions TCG. Sandy, how you doing? There is a Switch. Starmie, which also I believe turned into a rare with Evolutions. Bulbasaur, Magnemite, Energy. So there goes the first one, Psychic. Oh, it switched around for that, but energy? An imposter, Professor Oak. You imposter, you. All right, so it's a non-holographic trainer, but that's actually a decent trainer to get, so it's not too bad. All right, guys, we got one more long stem base set booster pack to open. Simple reminder, hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 8,000 likes, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Just just uh, such a momentous occasion for collecting in general. I uh, And I can't wait for when we hit a million subs on this channel and we're gonna open up those heavy packs that one of them I think is like gonna have a Charizard in it. We'll make history. All right, let us begin with the uh, final guess the energy. I wanna say fighting energy and lightning energy in that respective order. Dratini. Very, very nice Charmeleon. Caterpie, Switch, Rattata. These are so bright, like light colored cards. 
Go duo. Wait, did I say lightning? No, I said fighting, I think. Oh well. And wait, 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 wait. Did I just get the guess the energy but do it in the opposite order? Cause then it definitely doesn't count. But if I did, then give yourselves a big old pat on the back because that's actually really incredible. But energy and an item finder. <laughs> All right, Heart Squad, I hope you enjoyed this video. You want more vintage openings or new? Right over there. My name is Lean Heart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.